planting garlic bulbs and discussing the numerous health benefits of garlic. Do you want to know? Come and join me on this garlic journey as we go down the road of garlicky, garlicky adventures in the garlicky garden path of our garlic, garlicky, garlicky hands and a breath. Garlic is a versatile and flavorful ingredient that has been used for centuries for its medicinal properties. All right, first and foremost, yeah? Let us see what garlic can do for the body and what, you know, medicinal properties it has. Because I know that garlic is packed with antioxidants. And these antioxidants help to protect your skin from damages caused by free radicals, which can reduce the risk of chronic disease such as cancer and heart disease. Another great benefit of garlic is its ability to boost your immune system. Um, I did a video recently and I spoke about the benefits of using garlic because it contains a compound called allicin, which has been shown to stimulate white blood cell production. Um, this in result helps your body to fight off infections and illnesses more efficiently. Growing up with my dad, he used to love cooking a lot and his dinners were packed with garlic and onions and all the herbs that, you know, you use for seasoning. And I realized that garlic has a powerful anti-inflammatory property because when he used to suffer from arthritic problems, garlic was one of them that he went to for, you know, some sort of relief. Even when his hypertension was acting up, garlic is the thing that helped him to reduce, you know, inflammation in his blood vessels. He used to drink a lot of garlic tea because he said to me it helps to improve his blood circulation and the regular consumption of garlic helped him to lower his blood pressure and also reduce the risk of heart disease. So um, because it removes the inflammation from the body, that sounds like it's removing plaque from the arteries. So this is especially beneficial for those who have, who suffer with hypertension, high blood pressure, heart disease, or anything that has to do with, you know, circulatory issues. Garlic is also shown to improve digestion. So he used to drink a lot of garlic tea. The enzyme that break down the proteins in food makes it easier for our body to absorb the nutrients. And because garlic have this pleasant um, aroma and flavor, it helps to stimulate the appetite, making it easier for digestion and, you know, promote healthier eating habits. I love garlic. I love, 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 love garlic. And garlic to me is one of the most powerful um, herbs you could ever even try to find or try to to plant because of its numerous health benefits remember we stated it's an excellent source of antioxidants yeah it's an immune booster um herb and it also helps with anti-inflammatory properties it also can help to um, aid in digestion and also in circulatory issues so I think if you put garlic in your daily routine, you'll be surprised to see some of the health benefits it has to offer to you. All right. So we're going to go in. How am I going to get to have a sustainability of garlic all year round? So I'm going to be using my garlic in the garden today by planting them. So this video is about the benefits of garlic and how to go about planting your garlic in your garden. First, I'm just going to clean and prepare the area so we can start planting our garlic. Garlic is a popular home garden crop and it's very easy to grow. Very, very easy to grow. I started planting garlic when I moved to my home currently now. And I used to plant the supermarket garlic and I realized that they came out quite small. So I've always wanted to do a experimental video to see the difference of supermarket garlic and the garden center garlic so today is the day that i am going to plant out our garlic but first i want to talk about when to plant garlic 
the ideal time, the, the atmosphere, the temperature of your garden soil. When is the best time to plant garlic? I find that planting garlic during the fall and around October and November, like autumn, you will have a good chance of these garlics being established. Um, the root, that's where the root grows, that bottom bit. So we're going to put that bit in the ground and that bit is going to establish root before the ground freezes over. Why? Because this allows the um, garlic to be ready for harvest by summertime. So we have to plant them before the ground freezes. We're in the UK and this is early November. I'm doing this now, but I voice over this, this video and late this late November is when we had frost and the frost came in really frosty. So all of these measures that I'm taking right now is beneficial for my garden. So we're going to plant the garlic. So we're going to start by finding a position you want to put your garlic and usually about four to four inches deep, four inches wide. And I've cleaned and prepared this area. And remember, this area is where I had my compost in, where I did my fertilizer in. And this part here that you're seeing, my greenhouse is leaking. So right here is very damp. So I won't need to water this area after I planted my garlic. So um, this is the area where I planted my tomatoes and my pumpkins last year. So I know the soil has a lot of nutrients left over for, you know, my plants to be located here. Every year I change up the location because I want to make sure that the soil gives different um, nutrients to the plants when needed when planted in that area. Because every plant has a different sort of nutrients, nitrogen, phosphorus, magnesium, calcium, they give off every different nutrients. So if you can set a system up and know what certain vegetable or, you know, plants give off, then you can alternate the planting method for the next year and then the other crops will benefit so much from them. So what we're going to do, we're going to break the cloves up and we are going to gently plant them into the dirt four inches deep and four inches wide. So after we've done this, we're going to cover everything up and making sure that we use organic compost and well-rooted manure to pot or to plant your um, garlic seeds. You're going to cover them because because it's going to be coming up to winter. We will we want to make sure it's covered, totally covered. No ice can get into it. So I'm going to get some mulch. So I use my compost and I use my fertilizer in this bed. So this bed is rich with nutrients. So my compost will add different nutrients to the soil for the plants to, you know, benefit from it. And how we're going to protect our garlic is we're going to mulch over. So we're going to prepare a, a bag that we can gather all the leaves in the garden and all the, you know, mulching scrap that we can put on here to protect it from the crap, the frost. And that's it. With proper care, your garlic plant will grow and produce delicious garlic bulbs in no time. But what I want you to do is to remember to water your garlic regularly. Although I told you that my greenhouse is leaking, I'm still going to have to water it, all right? And you need to keep your eyes on it, especially for the first few weeks, that, you know, no pest or no disease can come up on your garlic plant. All right. And always remember for look for a right location. The best location is the right location. The spot in your garden that gets plenty of sunlight and well drained soil. All right. All right. And you make sure that the soil is rich and well tended to. So your garlic will have a nice establishment for itself and start develop, you know, into a beautiful, beautiful organic herb. All right. And this is where we are going to end our video. No, we're not. We have all it more for show you. But what I wanted to show you as well is um the mulching mulching you know how much i emphasize about mulching and you know how much it's good and it benefits 
your soil if you mulch all right it's a great way to protect your winter crops from harsh weather retain moisture in the soil and promote healthy growth that's all i'm saying that's all i'm saying once it can retain moisture in the soil during the winter months so that the soil temperature keep you know a warmer gauge i am quite happy and so should you so mulch promote healthy plants growth and when you apply it to your soil it provides your soil with nutrients rich layer because when they start decaying it's gonna feed the yeah it's gonna feed the roots of your plants duh so you need to make sure that you encourage healthy root growth yeah, and give it a great start by covering it up with your mulch and putting the plastic over on it. Okie dokie. Keep the frost out as well. It's the 5th of November and I don't know when it's going to be frosty or actually when the ground's going to freeze over. So I'm actually just preparing this because I don't want nothing to happen to me garlic this year. Last year I planted some and I never get none. So this year I'm going to take precaution and making sure my garlic is well protected all right so yeah and now i know for sure this will grow because it's protected by the mulch under the bottom and then i put this plastic thing on top and then i'm just gonna pop this stick let me see if i can get it down there perfect on top so it won't I won't be able to this won't blow off you know what i mean so yeah all right and then we'll come back in springtime move everything and then the bulbs will start coming through and we're halfway through you know our garlic um planting not even halfway through but we start our little garden collection of herbs so i'm um, i'm gonna go to the center and get some more garlic so this is the one i got from the supermarket all right and then this one i'm gonna plant next to this guy here is gonna be the one where i get from the store so i would like everything to be garlic in this bed or halfway through and then i can do my onions as well in here so i want it to be more of root herbs or veg that i can harvest and store for longer all right that's it girl mixed and i am going to sign up until later on, I'll come back with the other bulbs. All right, cool. Highly blissful, everyone. So, I just came to the garden center this morning because I realized that I needed to get my bulbs in for my um, garlic. So, I'm here at the Hilltop Garden Center in my hometown. I'm just close the car. And I'm actually going to be getting some bulbs. So we're going to go into the center today. Oh, that's exit only. So I have to walk around. So I have to go around here. Make sure I lock the car. All right. So this is Hilltop. And it's our garden center in our hometown. So this is the entrance that we walk through. And um, my kids are around the corner waiting for me. So I've got some bulbs. I've just seen some garlic bulbs and they look so nice. So yesterday I planted some bulbs and that was from the supermarket. So today I'm actually going to be um, planting the bulbs from the garden center. And then we're going to compare it when we get to spring. See which one grows bigger and which one is smaller. So I think they were up here. Let me just go around these ladies. Right, it's up this end. It's a beautiful place. I love coming here. I come here and just let go. The plants just heal me. They let off some nice chemical and I absorb it. <laughs> Anyways, here we are. So we've got different types of garlic here. And I'm thinking of getting the, the red ones as well. So I'm gonna get this one, which is the mild flavor. So I'm gonna be getting some nice looking ones. I've only got two in there, you know. And then I've got up here two faux pad rum, French garlic. I've got a few 
Thanksgiving Day. So I'm going to get a pack of this one. And then this one says strong and good flavor. I think I'm going to get a pack of this one as well because this one is nice. So I'm going to get these two. I'm not the purple one, but I don't know. The purple ones are tiny. I'm looking for bigger head garlic this year. And then you've got some onions set here as well that I can plant. So I may get some onions as well. Yeah, I may get some onions as well. I don't want to plant some onions. Okay. So we've got three things down here. Um, what else have we got around here? Okay, these are just plants. That's fine. I think that's it. So we're going to take it to the builders to see what he could do with it. But anyways, that's it. So, And I've got some herbs as well that I'm going to be planting out today. Mild flavor. I don't want the mild flavor. I want the strong. Ideal for harvesting. Good storage. Oh, which one's that one? Oh, I'm going to take my shoes. Damn it. Okay, that's fine. I've got it. Okay, let's go around here. I think we're going to get it cached. Let's see what we've got around here as well. These are just seeds. Seed packets. Yeah, I'll just go and get my garlic now. Okie dokie. So, yep, going to the team. I am a little I left the basket with that's some. Fine. Yes, that's fine. Thank okay. you. Okay, no worries. Right. Do you want to take them on or now? Yes, please. Yeah. Sure. And then I can put them in the car okay. and then I can go to the play centre. <laughs> He's at the play centre. No worries. So I've just got a bunch of herbs here. Great. So we're going to check out now and then I'll see you back home, all right? So we're in the car now. I've got a few herbs and I've got my bulbs and I've got this beautiful tray. They're actually giving off trays, so I'm going to go around and get some more. I'm going to go and see the kids now. So, yeah, just going to lock the car, make sure it's safe, and then I'll come back and see you guys in a minute. See if we can find them. Oh, here they are. Are you finished? You want to see the monkey? And a giraffe. Wow, the woman to make us a lion. Yo, this grass wet our soft, our scrudgy. Feel like it's like a sink. Oh my god, this is so cute. No, these are new. God, it looks so real. Yeah, the girl's always been here. The monkey hasn't. The panda is new. Those reindeer are new. Watch it, watch it. Do that again. <laughs> what if it moves? Jamin, it's moving. <laughs> Look, he's laughing at you. He's like, ha ha. <laughs> Look, he's pointing at you saying, ha ha. Yeah. Where's the, where's the giraffe? Oh, this is a little giraffe. Oh, there's my oogs with the water on it now. It's a baby one. Oh. Look what I see. What's that black and white thing? A panda. What? It looks like a panda to me. A penguin? Yeah, it does. No, giant. It looks like a, a penguin to me. Your colors. Wow. Yeah, it loves bamboo. <laughs> it's eating bamboo. Look, it's a, it's Rudolph. Yeah, Rudolph. I think it's because it's Christmas as well and put it out. Mm -hmm. Or they've been here forever. I've never seen it. One of my purple, why? He huh? looks scary as. <clears throat> Jesus, he looks scary. Is he plastic, baby? Oh, hello. It's a beautiful place, isn't it? Nice little wedding, yes, sir. Beautiful, beautiful. This is the garden center in our area and we love to come over here. 
So we're gonna go to the other part now so the kids can have fun. No? We have a wedgie? Do you have a wedgie? You're having a wedgie? <laughs> Is it bilateral wedgie? Is it bilateral wedgie? Just wedgie? Okay. Come. I look for the restaurants over like what you cast arm and a leg. Yeah. So we're back home and I've got my bag with my garlic. I've got some herbs here. Let's go through the herbs that I got today. I got this beautiful herb. It smells so good. Verbena. It smells so good. The top of it smells like cereal. You know them Cheerio cereals? It smells so good. And then I got some fennel. Because you know we love the fennel for our herbs. I got some thyme. Like proper culinary thyme. I got some majorum. Which is good for my herbal dish. And then I've got my apple mint. I've got some more apple mint. Because I want to make sure I have enough apple mint here. And then everything came up to $17.97. So the shrub was £10. So five of these are for £10. Yeah. And then the garlic, two bulbs is $5.98. And the one bulb is $1.99. So the onion is $1.99. And the two bulbs are $2.99 each. Okie doke. So we're going to go up here to our little area where we want to do our garlic you know, yesterday i did this bit so this bit is the garlic that we've got inside the supermarket we bought from the supermarket and then i'm going to do the other row i'm bed of the garlic that i just bought from the gardening center all right so just watch me clean up again I really want to take this opportunity to apologize for the sound quality as at this time I did not um, invest in a mic. I was just using my um, earphones and the phone itself and it was not working out and is not working out. So my apologies on the sound quality, but please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel to see how much I improve over the years. This is a great, great deal for me and your support means a lot to me. And I'd just like to say thank you very much again. Area here is the garlic. As you can see, the ground or the soil on this area of the bed is much drier. So I don't have a leakage problem on that side, but you will need to water your garlic regardless, okay? Remember, you must make sure your soil is very rich and it has well drainage and it has a good location 
because you don't want to water your soil and it's waterlogged. I have good drainage here. This is my raised bed and you can see the water is absorbing into the soil. So I won't have to worry about getting waterlogged to rotten my bulbs and rotten the roots. Okay? Sweet, sweet. I can't wait until these come up. I'm so excited. Oh my god. I cannot wait. And then now, we're just going to cover it up with the plastic. Like this one. And keep them clear. There, one is clear. The other one, two here too. Oh, the lemon balm beside me is so strong. So strong. Then we go try the fixer. So that's it. So we've got our supermarket garlic and then our proper garlic from the, the plant shop. Alright, so we're gonna leave this and we're gonna watch this. And next year we'll know what's going on. So the garlics are in the ground for the year. And to be honest, they're around probably 24, 26 garlic planted in here. So hopefully we get a good amount of garlic. I'm so excited. All right, over to here, sir. This is my lemon balm bed. It smells so nice. It smells really nice. These are the garlic things. Right, so this garlic now we've got, it is strong flavor. We're going to plant this in my sunny bed. All right, so we're going to move over to the other side of the garden. Who, me sitting down getting annoyed with the quality of my video? Yes, I am because the sound quality is not what I planned it out for. But this video, it has to go out and I have to just show you the natural way I did it and then i can improve myself you know i'm actually doing feedback on myself as well so i'm learning as i go along but this is where i'm gonna put my other set of garlic and i am just preparing the bed this is where i had my potatoes growing this year and i harvested a lot of potatoes i tried planted um carrots and parsnip here but nothing came up so i'm going to put my bulbs my garlic here because i know the soil is rich the year before we had pumpkins and um, the year before that we had sweet corns now this year we had potatoes i know they probably use up you're probably thinking oh all of the nutrients are gone no not in my garden because i make my own compost and i make my own fertilizer so all i'm gonna do is just till the soil a bit loosen up the ground so the bulb can sit comfortable in the ground and then you know cover up with the mulching and then that's it we're going to be doing today and two packs. And these ones are the strong flavor ones so four inches apart and four inches deep all right just show these out oh they're massive they're massive Look, I started to get some growth already. So this is a good look. Look. 
I hope it's not a good look. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Hopefully when they go in the ground, they will continue growing. already and then there five six seven eight nine ten eleven some of the ones twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so we have fifteen cloves of garlic here. I'm not going to use the two small ones because I'm too tiny. So we've got 15 cloves here. So I'm going to just plant them all into the area here. So where I just dig up. So we go. remaining of these, I'm going to put them in the bed behind us. So how much do we have? These big ones. Oh, it's a big one. one. So I've got five of them. Plus the two, you know, the, I don't know, you know, it's small. Right? So I'm going to come back and dig the hole now. Alright? So we're going to do it in fast mode. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four. So we've got 20. We've got 20 garlic heads here. All right. So I'll we'll push them down. And now we're going to just cover them over. Cover them over. And then, as I said, I'm going to mulch it as well. And because the dirt is so cold, I don't need to. I'm so moist. I don't need to water this. Don't need to at all. And then the trees are going to shed the leaves. And it's going to mulch over it eventually. So this is a good look for me. So I'm going to just bring some mulch. And cover up the garlic. So this is another garlic bed. So we've got one here so. One inside of the greenhouse. And then I've got a few bulbs left. Just a few little ones. Where I can plant them. I can plant them right here. So, so let me just dig a hole for these ones. So I'm not it. Check this out. This is where the zucchini was. We got one. Two. Three. Four. And then little one in the sofa. Big one in. you know I will know I will remember so this is a strong garlic here one leaf here so so we'll come ahead right so let me just go and get the mulch so and I'll come back so I'm just taking off some of my elderberry leaves and when these dry up they'll become mulch for my beautiful garlic Yep. So 
so this will keep it warm through the cold months when the ground freeze over it won't hurt them and then it will just die down and decay and become nutrients for my garlic heads that's it everyone you come to the end of the video thanks for watching and don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel and if you found this informative enough keep coming back for more how you do that there's a bell on your little yeah just look at it you'll just turn it on when you turn it on you'll never miss any future videos from us you'll always stay active and up to date to what's going on thanks again for subscribing and tuning into our channel and if you have any you know criticism like useful ones please comment in the box below and we'll do our best to take them on board thanks for watching and i'll see you soon